What's this place called? Boulder Canyon. Boulder Canyon? Yeah. Gonna go up and check it out. <laughs> Does it usually get pretty crowded up here? Yeah, I'm supposed to see. On that, on that rock, there's oh, a, I, I saw two groups. I haven't seen no one. Oh, look you think we jump that? Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> you may take that. <laughs> Nice. Of all calamities, it's a gray one breaking myself down, breaking myself down a bit too much. I'm eroding I'm eroding my sense of pride Cross roading Alright, other spot over there Right, kind of where these little people are climbing Was taking up a lot of the people over there Got a little bit of a late start, so we're going to start over here Ray, is this, uh, do they have like different names, the roots, or is it just all Boulder Canyon? They have names uh, I don't remember the names of these lines, but that's like Dan's line and a sports clip or something. Okay. Sweet. Oh, hold on. I just restart it. Uh, arm flank. This is this is Ray's tutorial. <laughs> <laughs> Take a loop. Put the loose end on the right, and then go around your wrist, and then you're just gonna go straight back through. Yeah. I mean, what's that? What's that one for? Figure eight knot for tying in. Gotcha. And on ATC, slides all the rope down here. It's gonna come out the right, so you put it on the right side. Climber side to the left. Okay. Ray's enthusiasm for climbing here is unmatched. You can see he can hardly contain himself. You clip it into your quick draw or your carabiner. Yeah, twist it up. Knock it. Good. That bolt. Roll thumb with your blind. If you want to be directly below the first bolt, so I'll move up to where Al is once you start climbing. So yeah. The balls, you're getting pulled directly into it, not getting dragged across the rocks. Gotcha. Take it through the shredder. When you're lead blind, you want like a little droop in the rope, so yeah. you don't want to have it tight because you'll pull them off the wall. You gotta have them work, and then you're feeding them slack most of the time. And then when they're like climbing, uh. When they're below their anchor and they're climbing up towards their anchor, you're gonna be like pulling in slack. But mostly just be. You know, if you, if you wear those, you're gonna wanna take your socks off on the ride home. <laughs> I'm just seeing if they fit. Yeah. <laughs> no, dude. No chance? Yeah. You got little baby feet. I was gonna say, those are pretty tight on me. <laughs> Over here climbing in tennis shoes. Come out from Seattle, didn't know I was gonna be gonna be climbing, starting bringing that stuff. Last second trip. But we make it work. <laughs> Going out, first time outdoor sport climbing. Got the little bro and the belay down there. <laughs> this is awesome.
like I was afraid of going in this open face stuff just because these are like sliding and I'm just not that good a climber. Little steak sandwiches sitting up here. There's so much better left over. And then you throw it on top of the redwood or cedar after soaking that plank in some water and then it just kind of smokes and the flavors go through and you do, depends on the thickness of the steak, but maybe five minutes on that plank. It's freaking good. It's pretty good, man. <laughs> Thanks for letting me come up with you guys, that was sick. Yeah, you show me all that stuff. Yeah, yeah man. Alright, yeah, for sure, dude. Thanks for. I was, I was kind of pumped when you said that. Next time I'll have to get you with some actual shoes. I know, right? That'll make it so much better. Yeah, you know, that's tough. Who's that shoes, though? That's tough. <laughs> Seriously. It's not even one yet. Good time.